What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a lightning effect in Premiere Pro. Now for the lightning effect itself I will have a download link for it in the description. So here we are in Premiere Pro and as you can see this is the video. So the first thing we're going to be doing is coming across our timeline and finding out where we want this to start. So right there for me. And what I'm going to do is lay down a marker so then I know right here this is where I want it to start. I'm then going to come across and find the part where I want it to end. And mine is right here. So again, I'm going to press this to lay down a marker. Next is adding on it the lightning. So we're going to drag and drop this. And as you can see, it's going to snap right there. So it's going to start on time. Now, the first thing you can probably see is that this video is way too small for our current video. What we need to do is right click it and select set to frame size. From there, you can see it takes up all of the screen. Now, another problem, you can see it ends too soon and it does not go all the way. So a fix for this, what we can do, because you can see the lightning is going super fast. So if we slow it down, it won't make much of a difference. All we need to do is right click our video, come to speed duration, and I'm going to change the duration to 12 seconds. I'm going to change a time interpolation to optical flow and select OK. Now you can see it is long enough. I can trim this down to where we actually end. And here we go. If I play it, you can see it's still quite fast. So the next thing is getting rid of this black background. What you want to do is make sure you are selected on the lightning effect, come up to your effect controls and under opacity, you want to come to where it says blend mode. And now there's quite a few options you can pick from. And from this selection, I recommend lighter screen color dodge, linear dodge, add lighter color overlay and linear light. Now it's completely optional which one you pick. You can experiment to see which one looks best for you. Me personally, I know color dodge is gonna look best for me. So I'm gonna use it right here. Next thing we need to do is position it. So this is where we're gonna be getting into some keyframing and this is the part that's going to take the longest. So again, make sure you are selected onto your lightning clip, come up to the effect controls and where the motion tab is, make sure this arrow is selected so you can see all of this. Come to the very start toggle the animation on the position, toggle the animation on scale, and toggle the animation on rotation. So the first thing I am going to do is rotate it into place. So I'm also gonna press these arrows next to them. This I just find easier, optional for you. Um, so here we go. There we go, and I'm also going to then size it down. I'm also then going to position this into the correct place. So this is how it's gonna work. Each time our hands move, that we're gonna move the lightning as well. Now most of the time it's gonna be involving moving the rotation, moving the scale and moving the position. So I'm gonna come across. As you can see straight away, the lightning is going straight up. So if that's the case, I'm then gonna rotate it a little bit down and reposition all of this. Now you don't need to worry about uh, clicking anything else because you can see if I zoom in, another keyframe has been created for us just like that. So then we can come across. As you can see, you don't have to be entirely accurate if there's not a lot of movement, so I'm going to leave mine the same for now. Still nothing for me. And you can see right here, I bring it in like I'm squashing it. So what we're going to do is from there, we're going to size it down. So from the scale. And then we're going to reposition it just like this. Rotation doesn't need to be touched. And you can see now we're going to start changing the rotation. And of course the position again. And it's pretty self-explanatory. So right now I will just fast forward the rest of me doing this. Okay, and here we go. So I have now finished all of it. You can see uh, there's not many keyframes. It didn't take too long, probably about five minutes. Uh, this depends on the length of your clip. But if I play this through now, everything should be tracked uh, quite accurately, or at least 100% accurately. And you can see that is what I have done. Just like that, it goes off. And that's how simple it is to create this lightning effect in Premiere Pro.